What's up, Cub fans? Uh, doing a recap here of Monday night's game, August 27th. Cubs took on the Mets, a three-game series. A couple uh, tough pitching matchups Cubs have to start off with. Uh, they play Syndergaard, other known as Thor. And Cubs got it done. They won 7-4 to four over the Mets. Uh, pretty cool. Uh, you thought it would be more of a pitching battle. Uh, Lester didn't have his best stuff early. I uh, gave up a run in the first, a uh, couple other runs, a solo home run in the second. Wind was blowing out, uh, and he was frustrated early. Uh, but Cubs uh, did scrap back, and they were able to score against uh, Syndergaard. Uh, they ended up getting four runs against them. Even Lester helped his own cause, got two run, two run RBI, uh, had the bases loaded. Uh, just a lot of good bats, you know. Uh, Murphy set the tone with a double to start off the first inning. Uh, a lot of good, everyone got a hit hit yesterday. Pretty cool. Uh, so Lester helped get the Cubs a 4-3 lead uh, as we're getting close to the uh, starting pitchers out of the game. Uh, after six innings, uh, Lester had a chance to get the win. So he did battle back after giving up three runs, uh, considered a quality start three runs in six innings. Uh, that helps, uh, that extra inning uh, helps as far as like uh, not overdoing the bullpen. Uh, we didn't use our high leverage bullpen guys the day before, so we did use our high leverage bullpen guys today. I uh, didn't get the same great results, not bad, but uh, Seasick gave up a tying home run in the seventh. He doesn't give up many home runs. He's been pretty un unhittable and definitely been our best guy, especially at Morrow out of the lineup, but I uh, can't always be perfect. So Lester didn't get the win, the win, uh, to ended up being four to four as we're getting into the seventh inning. Luckily the Cubs bats were there. Uh, you know, Murphy kept uh, getting hits. Uh, Rizzo got a double, Sobers got a double. Uh, so Cubs, had the lead again. Rizzo hit a late home run in the ninth. That kept the streak to 12 games in a row with a home run, at least one home run. Pretty cool. Like Rizzo coming in was batting 272. I mean, he's came a long ways from barely over 200 early in the year and lacking confidence. But Madden said you're going to be there, and he is. He's peaking at the right time. Uh, Cubs. And it, it did get a little bit shaky. Uh, eighth inning, Edwards came in, and he's not striking guys out lately, which isn't normal for him. Uh, we know that he can have issues walking guys at times, but it's been six appearances in a row where he couldn't strike a guy out. So I don't know that might be a mini concern, but at least he's finding other ways to get outs. And so we had a uh, eighth inning that went one, two, three. That was good. Everything was all set up. You know, Cizek in the seventh, Edwards in the eighth. Strope in the ninth. At least that's been the plan for a while with Strope. Uh, Strope did blow the save last time uh, when he gave up a home run. This time it got kind of shaky. He got one out, but he gave up a couple base runners, a uh, walk and a hit. And Madden decided to go with uh, Wilson, who's playing uh, up against the left-hander. And had him 0-2, but then he gives up a hit. Next thing you know, things are bases loaded with one out. We're still up 7-4. to four. What do we do? We bring in uh, Chavez, and he's able to strike out the last two batters. Uh, unbelievable. So appears that we kind of have a bullpen by committee. Madden was kind of quoted saying, you know, it won't just be Strope. He made some other kind of funny remark, uh, too. So even though we've been mainly seeing Strope in the ninth inning, and we see Cizek kind of in the mid-game, high leverage, six, sixth, seventh inning, sometimes uh, – around that time and he usually closes the door uh so we do have some question marks there on those close games Amaro is definitely missed and we don't know when his return date is that's the one little bit scary thing to he wants to come back that's awesome uh but he still has some pain i uh, did go through some tests they don't believe that he'll uh be recovered in time to do any minor league rehab starts which would be Labor Day is the last day of a minor league game, uh, but that doesn't mean he's out for the year. They can do some simulation games, get him back up in September. Uh, so we'll we'll see what happens there. Uh, it's going to be interesting, and 
All I know is right now, Cubs have a four and a half game lead over St. Louis uh, for the division lead and a five game lead over Milwaukee. And those teams are idle yesterday. So Cubs played one less game than St. Louis, one less game than uh, Milwaukee. Uh, next Thursday will be the next opportunity Cubs gang another game. Cubs are in their streak of 23 straight games. Yeah, just look at milestones. Um, two, we have you know four more games left before September. You can bring up some more resources, uh, some minor league rehab news. Uh, Chris Bryant played for Iowa. Uh, he went 0 for 3. He did get on base uh, on a, with a walk and then also an error, and he ended up scoring two runs. Uh, Tyler Chatwood start, was a starting pitcher, and he did not do well. Went four and a third innings. He walked five guys. Uh, second inning, there was bases loaded, and he walked two guys in to score a run. So I just can't, I think he can't be trusted to start. <clears throat> I was checking with uh, – Jesse Rogers, Cubs, Chicago ESPN reporter, uh, too, because there's some talks uh, after Mills starts Wednesday, they're going to send him down to make room to bring Montgomery up on Thursday. I wish they'd wait till Saturday, but that's what they want to do. And so then Mills will have to wait like 10 days. I was concerned like they were planning on like plugging in Chatwood and Mills station, but they could just shuffle Mills to pitch. 10 days from after his Wednesday start, if you know if they're going to call him down and bring him back up. I don't know who else would start if you stick with six men uh, rotation. To uh, There was talk of Chavez early on, but yesterday we seen that he's so valuable in the pen, either eating up two or three innings, and sometimes he maybe needed to close if Strope can't get the job done. Uh, so it seems to be tough to bring Chavez out of the pen right now. Uh, you know, unless you went with like Dwayne Underwood, he's been struggling. They've been using him in relief role. Uh, he's the other potential starter, minor league call up, uh, saying it's on the 40 man roster, but not getting it done. 6.5 year. He did do a lot better his last start, went seven innings, gave up three runs, so a quality start. Uh, so that's kind of where Cubs are at, uh, too. And they uh, have another good uh, yesterday, was pretty cool. Uh, getting seven runs yesterday and four runs off of uh, uh, Syndergaard Thor. Another three against the bullpen. Today they have to do it against DeGrom. Uh, it's going to be a challenge, but we do have our ace, Hamels, who's been pretty damn good. He hasn't gave up more than one run yet. Pitched a complete game last game. Uh, that would be awesome if you can do the same thing again. Then we'd have three more days where uh, we shouldn't be able to burn out the bullpen. Uh, and then September, you have call-ups. But one thing about September call-ups, you have to be careful, too. You're still trying to win games. You can't just plug in anyone in high-leverage situations. Ideally, the bats, you know, get us three, four, five, six-run leads. Then you can take more of a risk with a, a minor league guy or an unproven guy. And we'll see see what happens. But Cubs are in a good situation. They won six games in a row. Hopefully, they can keep it going and be a challenge today. But they... Uh, have the bats going to do it, and we have a pretty good pitcher that may be able to match uh, DeGrom today. So go Cubs, go.